Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to Hot Topic. And the reason I want to go is because of the amount of figures that my local one has been getting in, and also it's still hot cash, so I get $15 off of every 30 I spend. Am I planning on using all of these today? No. Is it gonna happen? Probably. Okay, so I haven't been here in a little while, and I gotta say they really upgraded their section since the last time I was here. And it looks like the main stuff that they have are the Christmas ones. So we've got like R2D2, C3PO, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, and then they've got the Coca-Cola Santa, which I am definitely 1000% gonna be grabbing today because I mean come on guys it's just too cool and then besides these guys we've also got zero as well as a bunch of the gingerbread ones and I did get the flash a little while ago but I don't have Superman Aquaman or Wonder Woman so we might be getting them today too and now sadly I'm not seeing the exclusive diamond Batman or actually any Batman for that matter and if you guys want to see what he looks like he's in the top middle there oh and then keeping it Christmas theme they also have Groot and Starler then I believe yeah Mantis down here and Drax so I think that's the entire set I believe there's only four yeah that is the entire set so again maybe today i don't know it's a lot of christmas stuff but the thing is i could get it for a pretty decent deal if i pick it up today so maybe i'll think about it oh and then check this out guys next to the snowman star wars ones they also have some of the naruto like azuma as well as the metallic gar and i believe that noah has both of these but he definitely doesn't have madara over here so i'm probably gonna get this one for him i think so why not and then keeping it anime theme they also have a bunch of my hero and i believe some of these are new i believe this one's new and then eerie might be newer i don't remember seeing these ones ever in stores and then to the left of that one okay this one is great and I haven't picked it up yet and I'm debating on it I just don't remember him in the show like I feel like a lot of the class 1b characters are kind of like background ones and I might get flack for saying that but I just don't remember them or Tetsu Tetsu and then this one maybe I don't know but here's the thing I'm not saying that they're not cool pops I'm just saying that I don't remember them too much from this show but it's still really cool to see them as figures oh and you know what guys over here to the far left they have Guillaume still and I'm guessing the chases are gone I mean there's a good amount missing. Oh, and then below that, they do have some of the House of the Dragons figures, and I believe there is three of them here, and I know that the show is super popular at the moment. I just haven't seen it yet, but I figure if somebody wants to pick them up, they have them over at your local Hot Topic, so uh, run, don't walk. And also, if you guys want to check out the back, there's a bunch of other characters in the set. Oh, and then below them, it looks like they have most of the Black Adam line. Hawkman, Black Adam, Doctor Fate, Adam Smasher, Sabacc, and Cyclone. I think that's pretty much all the commons. Oh, and I didn't even notice Attack on Titan. I believe that this one here would be one of the new ones. I think this is the only one that they've got. Choo almost dropped it. But to take a look at the back there, check them out. Yeah, this is the new wave. Oh, and then way down in the bottom here, guys, I just noticed some sodas. They've got a bunch of the C-3PO, and I did order some for our big Star Wars video, but I think I might have to get a couple today just because, I don't know, I gotta see if I get that chase, especially because there is two full sealed cases. And so now the question is, which two do I go for? And I haven't moved any of them around, so I'm gonna go for this one because it's upside down, and then I wanna go number three, so one, two, three. Let's go, yeah, this one right here. And now getting into some of the bigger boxes, I noticed that they still have Scar with Hyenas, as well as the Queen album for the Flash Gordon one, which is sick. And then to the right of that, there's still a couple of Gentle Criminal and La Brava, actually three of them to be exact. And then to the left over here, they still have some of Lilo and Stitch and Hammock, one of my favorite pops from this year, as well as Aaron Harden, the Hades of Pain and Panic. And then I think besides that, it's just a bunch more of these same characters. And so I guess, guys, now let's pick up some figures. Okay, so we're out of Hot Topic, and I ended up getting two bags worth of stuff. And it actually went from about, like, 250 all the way down to 120 And now before we go over to GameStop, let's crack open some sodas. And so on the back, it shows that the C-3PO looks like this here with the silver leg. And then the chase is him with the red arm. So you're kind of getting, like, both trilogies, which I really enjoy. Now let's not look at the bottom. Let's just open this thing up and find out if we got that chase. And it looks like the first one here is a common it looks like it and now here he is everybody the soda for c-3po and i really do love this thing especially because it is a bobblehead and just overall it's really well done and if you guys are curious what this one is limited to it is one out of twelve thousand five hundred, so not that rare but still a really sick one to have and now really quickly let's get into the second one then we'll hop over to gamestop and let's find out if we got the one with the red arm come on 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 ah Ah, it's another silver leg. They also put elastic bands on these ones so the heads don't bobble, but I almost ripped it off. <laughs> and yeah, just to make sure, this is the common C-3PO. Like I mentioned, still a really great soda to have. It's just too bad it's not the chase. Okay, so I've made it to the mall, and I forgot that there's also a Sunrise Records, so let's go there as well. Why not? And now it looks like they actually got a new section way at the back here, and it seems like there isn't much. I guess it's just a little more spread out. Yeah, they've got the entire section. And now from a quick glance, if I'm going to be honest, there really is 
isn't much that I'm on the hunt for. It is cool to see the Funko Shop exclusives, but I saw them here last time. I don't know. And I mean, I guess they still have the Blacklight Frankenstein. That's pretty cool. The thing is, I never really know when they're going to be getting new figures, so I always have to check just in case. So for anybody wondering, I'm probably not going to be getting anything here today. Let's go over to GameStop. And I'm taking a look at this section here, guys. They do have some interesting stuff. I just don't exactly know how much I'm going to be picking up because they have a lot of the bigger figures, which I've seen before. And the one new one that I saw that I really wanted was this one down here guys the stormtrooper and pop t bundle the problem is that i believe that they're both the wrong size oh no hold on guys this one is my size but the problem was there was a new sticker that came with them and it looks like here in canada we didn't get that where it actually said pop and t bundle and i don't know if i really wanted it or if i just wanted it for that sticker uh, i don't know like here's the thing the t-shirt looks pretty cool but then the pop is just kind of i don't know it's a bit lackluster like i swear we had already got a chrome stormtrooper in the past so i don't know i'll probably pass on that one for today but then looking around a bit more They've got like Goku driving exam, Bruno, some of the Star Wars ones, Black Adam. Oh, Dr. Fate from Black Adam. I think we saw that one earlier, but still really cool to see. And now I understand we're looking at the back of these figures. It's because they're in the front window, but I wanted to show you guys what they had over here, like the Penguin and Duck Ride, as well as Obi-Wan on a Yopi, and then this one over on the far side here, which I am 1000% going to be grabbing today. It is, are you guys ready for this one? E.T. and Elliot going over the moon. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you would know that I've been waiting for this one to release for a long time, so we gotta grab this thing. Oh, I remember why I stopped wearing this shirt. Anyways, everybody, we're back. And I guess we'll start with what I got over at Hot Topic because it was a good amount of stuff and most of it, I'll be honest, was Christmas. But like I mentioned earlier, I got it for such a good deal with Hot Cash, I figured I had to buy it today. And so the first one that I got here was Groot. And I'm gonna be honest, this is the only one that I bought out of the set today just because they had the other three, but I still want something to look for around Christmas. And I thought these ones here would be a fun set to get later on. And if you guys wanna check it out, this is Groot. And I'm also really liking the updated sculpt form because I'm pretty sure everything is different on this one. Because for the most part, Funko will use the exact same head for every Groot, but because he's wearing the antlers on top and he's got the present in his hands, they swapped out the entire thing. Then I did end up grabbing all of these snowman figures that I was missing, which would be Boba Fett, R2-D2, C-3PO, and Stormtrooper. Some pretty good ones. And then the only other figure that would be in the set is Darth Vader, and I don't even think they had it today, so I guess it was good when I grabbed it last time because otherwise I wouldn't have it. And now we're not going to be taking a detailed look at these guys today. We'll save it for closer to Christmas when it actually makes sense. Oh, and then keeping it on theme with Christmas, I also ended up grabbing some of the DC superhero gingerbread ones. I got Superman, Aquaman, as well as Wonder Woman, and I totally would have picked a Batman if they had him, but they didn't. Like, I even would have settled with the normal one, not the Diamond Edition, and I don't know when they're going to be showing up in stores. I'm hoping it's soon, because I did see the US was starting to get them. Fingers crossed on Canada. Because the way they make them is almost like you could actually make these out of gingerbread, and I've always wanted to try. Maybe we'll do it this year, but it would be a lot of work and a lot of colors. Yeah, like, it doesn't look too tough but I don't know like to make an Aquaman look this good <laughs> it could be hard then I ended up getting one more Christmas figure, and I believe it was the first thing I showed off over at Hot Topic. It was the Coca-Cola Santa. You guys probably know I love my ad icons, and they've kind of slowed down on them recently, which makes it a little bit easier for me, but I always enjoy getting them every once in a while. And I feel like this here is less than every once in a while. Like, maybe the last thing we got was the newer wave of foodies, and then we've got this one as well as the polar bear, and I think that's about it. Oh, and I guess we did also get that second wave of Slurpees a little while ago, but they're not ad icons. They're just the foodies, which I do still really enjoy, but I always like getting a character like this every once in a while. And if you guys want to take a look at the box, there is Santa, and I'm really enjoying this one. Then also on the back, you can see there's an actual photo of Santa. Oh, and a little fun fact about this version of Santa right here is that Coca-Cola actually created it a long, long time ago, and it was actually so long ago that it almost feels like that's the only Santa we've ever known. You know what, I wonder if there's anybody that was alive before the Coca-Cola Santa, because there's probably gotta be somebody, but then again, I don't exactly know what year they created it. It could have been like the 1800s, I don't know. Anyways, I digress. It was a pretty cool one to find today and I'm hoping that I can get that 90s Coca-Cola polar bear sometime soon. And then I think you guys saw me pick this one up for Noah. It is the Madara Uchiha Sage of Six Path. Yeah, that's the one. He has pretty much every single pop from the show, so I figured why not pick up the new ones when I see him. And then if you guys want to see the other figures that came up for this wave, or at least the commons, here they are. And I gotta say, that Kiba with Akamaru looks really great. And now we opened up the sodas in the car together, but then I also did end up getting one more mystery thing at Hot Topic, and it was the Boo Hollow. I 
guess the first Halloween thing of the video. You know what, now that I think about it, I haven't opened up a Paka Paka in a while. So let me give you guys a bit of a background on what these are because it's another Funko product. So Funko makes a bunch of different lines of mystery characters with one of them being Boo Hollow, their Halloween one created by Reese O'Brien. They originally came out of vending machines that you could find at different stores. And now they just come inside of cardboard ones, very similar to mystery minis, but I still really enjoy them. And anyways, let's open this thing up and find out which one we got. Ooh, okay. It looks like a pumpkin bat. I'm not sure his name though. And I gotta say, this one's pretty cute. So now let's find out what it's limited to. Okay, so it's a one in 12, so nothing too, too rare. And its name is Gordy, pretty fitting. Then after that, I went over to the mall. And while I was there, I picked up some pretty random stuff. You guys saw I didn't pick up anything over at Sunrise Records, but I did pick up something over at Walmart and it was the brand new ornament that I was on the hunt for, the Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. And I think out of all of the new ones that released, the Stitch as well as Indiana Jones are my top two because this one really does look great. Him in his hula attire, take a look at him. There we go, that's a little better. And now I believe with me picking this one up, I have every single one of the ornaments that have released so far. There are the two packs coming soon, but I haven't found them anywhere in stores. And if you guys see them, please let me know so I can have a bit of a heads up. Oh, and while I was walking over to Walmart, I saw that the sports store was selling mystery boxes and I uh, had to get one. I paid $30 for this thing and it said everything inside is going to be Pokemon. So let's just open this thing up and find out what it is. Okay. Right on top here, I'm noticing that I got the starters and it looks like they're promo cards as well as the Arceus coin. That's kind of cool. I mean, I definitely like that white background. I don't think I have any other coins like this. And then there's also a lanyard as well as, what do we got here? A couple like random sleeves. Ooh, a Pikachu magnet. That's kind of cool. As well as a couple Lost Origin pencils. And then we've also got a Lost Origin bookmark. And then what is this in the bottom here? Oh, is this a Lost Origin poster? Okay, this is kind of cool. Here, take a look at this, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Oh, and I saw they were selling these in the store. They have a bunch of like tiny little Pokemon inside. I believe we got like five or six of them. I don't know if you guys want to check them out. It looks like we've got like maybe Seismitoad or Palpitoad. We've got like uh, Muck as well as a couple others. I, I don't know, kind of neat. Wubbuffet, cool. Oh, and then down at the bottom here, guys, we got one pack of Fusion Strike. Let's hope it's something good. Alrighty, I got to crack into this just to find out if we got anything decent. It's a white code card. I don't remember if that's a good one or a bad one. I guess we'll just find out together. Uh, you know, let me just go to the back here. Now it's a Vika Volt. We did not get anything great. Well, I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't really know with this mystery box. Let me know what you guys think. Was it worth $30? Okay, now let's get into the reason why you guys probably clicked on this video. Elliot Neeti. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, it is amazing. I'm loving how it's like completely floating in the air with E.T. on the front. It's too cute. And I'm pretty sure that this one here is very similar to the normal one where it's not on the moon with the trees in the background. It's literally just Elliot and E.T. And I have it around here somewhere. Actually, yeah, this one right here. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. The only thing that's different about it is the backdrop. And if you guys want to see him a little bit closer up, that is it. Like, I'm pretty sure E.T. even has the exact same expression. Yeah, looks like it. So I guess if you didn't want to have this bigger version in your collection, which I don't know who wouldn't, it's an amazing figure, you could get this one to just put it with the regular size pops you've got. Which I'll be honest, isn't the worst thing in the world. Okay, so I charged up the figure and you can already see it glowing without me even turning it towards you guys. Take a look at this. It's almost like it's directly from the movie poster. And I think that's why I enjoy it so much. They didn't make it so the two of them in the middle glow, so it really does look accurate. And I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video know that I've been saying that this could possibly be the best pop of the year. And I would like to see what you guys think in the comment section below, especially because of the glow we just checked out. And now hold on everybody, that's not all for today because I also ran over to Toys R Us and you may be thinking, why? Because why not? Also, Toys R Us, you need to fix your sign. I mean, I was just there the other day, but I figured I might as well take a look because I was in the area. And I ended up grabbing these two here, the Ralph Soda, of course, from Wreck-It Ralph. When I opened them up the first time, I did not get the chase. So I figured it'd be fun to buy two more today to see if I could get that, fingers crossed. And so let's start with the first one here, which is going to be the normal Ralph. Because in the chase one, he's holding the metal that Vanellope made, and this is definitely not that. But for anybody who's curious, this one here is limited to one out of 6,700 and is the international can? Yeah, it is. All right, so try number two, and let's hope I can get it on this one so I don't have to buy another Ralph. And no offense to Ralph, I would just like to buy some other ones that I need in the collection. And nope, we've got another common 
It's too bad. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been Upside Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. All singing low, while I pop a ball off of your chain swinging, clang, clang, and it costs a lot. Bitch, I'm always at the goal of yeah, and you are not bad as beat. Keep on going till you hit the spot. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, dump her, drop a low. Mama called me, and she happy with the girl. Never ever yeah. fall for a party that's a no.